Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, Steve Breach coming to you. Uh, just weeks out of uh, SummerSlam, we got the big Monday Night Raw with Brock Lesnar and Triple H appearing. We will not be seeing rerun after rerun after rerun of the stuff that basically just happened the week before that everybody already saw. Um, my hopes uh, for Triple H and uh, Brock Lesnar is basically just to see an ass kicking of a match. I want to see, you know. Uh, Triple H just put the beat down on uh, Brock Lesnar like he's done on uh, you know guys all throughout his past. I want to see Brock Lesnar pick up Triple H and throw him from pillar to post, beat him all the way up and down the uh, the stairs of the arena. I want to see a true ass kicking like I know these guys can too. Both these guys have had great brawling matches in uh, in their career, and I think that's just what we're gonna get. I mean, I, I'm not really looking forward to a wrestling match, but just a straight up brawl. Um. It does suck uh, for this angle that Brock Lesnar isn't able to be appear there, you know, a week in, week out. But when he came back from uh, UFC to the V, uh, we knew that was uh, the way it was going to be. You know, we know he, he loves to stay up with his family. He, he just can't, you know, be away from them. That's just the kind of guy that he is. And I tip his hat and I, I say, you know, good job to him for that. But as a wrestling fan, having to see, you know, basically just not even big nets, just showing the whole angle <laughs> all over again, which they had already put on SmackDown uh, the Friday before, uh, it, it sort of sucks. And, and now when I look at it, if they're going to play that angle that, that many times, I guess this really is going to be the main event. And the reason CM Punk, you know, I guess basically turned heel was because nobody was paying attention to him and he wasn't, you know, getting the main event slots. He's not going to get the main event slot again, <laughs> uh, which is kind of crazy. Uh, maybe they should have waited. I, I know that all eyes were on them. Uh, for the uh, the Raw 1000, and they had to do something big, and that was probably one of the only times that The Rock was going to be there, and, and The Rock was the one guy that he could really turn on that everybody would, um, you know, take notice to. You know, if he would have attacked Cena or something like that, I don't, I don't think it would have got the same effect. Um, but, you know, the pay-per-view, I believe, Night of Champions, which comes up after, uh, at least Punk has a good shot of main eventing that, because I don't really see... Lesnar being on that show or anybody else, it'll probably actually really be uh, the main event for once. You no know, Cena versus somebody else match. We'll probably just be straight up Cena versus Punk. Um, but uh, back to Triple H. Like I said, this is going to be a damn good match. This is the one thing I'm really looking forward to. Big Show uh, poking his head into the whole um, triple threat match sort of waters that down. I really, was really, really looking forward to a rematch of uh, Punk versus Cena, but uh, like I'm saying, we'll get that at Night of Champions, but, you know, having a ticket for SummerSlam and not getting that, you know, that sort of sucks. Um, but I'm sure they'll, they'll find a good way to put on a big show, you know, with uh, Edge and uh, Cena uh, when they had their uh, their fight at WrestleMania and Big Show, but it just headed in there. Well, at least we got the one spot of uh, Cena picking them both up, hitting them both with the FU attitude adjustment. That was pretty badass, but... We'll see what we go from there. Uh, like I said, the, the one thing I'm really looking forward to on, on, on Monday Night Raw is, is seeing Lesnar and Triple H both being in there, both being in the killing mode. I was really looking forward to seeing Brock Lesnar beat the hell out of Shawn Michaels, but I'm guessing that we're not going to get that anymore um, because I guess the, the Triple H and uh, Shawn Michaels, uh, you know, whatever they called it, the uh, Shawn Michaels Night Appreciation Night is just going to be for the local people there, much like when they did the Edge thing, probably be on his, well, I guess it won't be on his DVD, because this DVD that's coming out is going to be a Superstar series, and they don't really give us any bonus features, it's just old matches on there, so I don't know what the hell they're going to do with that, and they'll film it, and I bet they'll put it somewhere, maybe they'll find a, find a way to make a new DX DVD or some crap like that, but it's going to suck, <laughs> looking back on it, but um, I was really looking forward to that, hopefully this, this whole... SummerSlam match doesn't turn into uh, Stephanie uh, versus Paul. Hopefully that was just a one week thing, and it was just the, oh, find the, the the easiest way they could they could get, you know, uh, Paul Heyman and uh, Brock Lesnar to agree to the match. But we'll go from there. Let me know what you guys are thinking about this, and uh, we'll have a good time Monday Night Raw tomorrow night. Let's go.